What's up guys, this is Reno Ranchero with another Hunger Games gameplay commentary for you all. In this video, which is another episode to my Hunger Games kit challenge, I'll be playing with a Time Lord kit. With Time Lord, you start with a watch, and when you right click it, it freezes time. So the person who is standing by you, or the people who are standing near you, will be frozen when you right click the watch. And we'll see an example of it right here. This guy gets a kill, and I run in to try to finish him off, and then I decide to Time Lord him. He is frozen, I run a around him and combo him from behind and get the kill. So that's how you can use Time Lord. It's really nice against teams. So we have more people coming in. I try to Time Lord both of them, but I'm still on cooldown because there's a 30 second cooldown. But then right there, I'm able to freeze tighter eyes and then I jump in and get the kill on him. But there's this other guy here. He is a madman, ninja guy, one, two, three, four. And I have slowness because after you use Time Lord, you get slowness too. So it is really hard for me to hit this guy and he is giving me the madman effect and you don't want to chase a madman because the more time you spend with those people that's the more weaker you'll get so i leave him alone and i find this guy here named minor nuke and with about four shots i kill him with a stone sword he had an iron sword and some ore i put down a furnace some people run around i hit him with my sword they're trying to bother me while i'm smelting luckily i am able to at least get half the iron before this guy jumps down his name is, I don't know, Zunalore. He tries to kill me, but I finish him off there. He's an MVP, so he gets to respawn. And now this guy here, this madman guy, is trying to hit me again. Uh, he tries to run, I hit him, but then I decide to leave him be. And we get this guy here who's trying to tower Marmershire, -mer -mer uh, kill him. And then the other guy is towering over here. He jumps down, but he misses with a stomp. And I go in right there and finish him up. But look who's coming in, the annoying madman yet again. But right there, I'm able to finally kill Ninja Guy. And he was actually a surprise madman, so that's nice for him. I go back, grab my iron from my furnace, and I continue on with this game. That's already six kills. Now this guy tries to stop me. I hold shift to take four hearts of damage, and I finish off the Night Genesis. So that is seven kills. Now I find myself in the top 12 in this game, and I find this ravine, but it's not just a ravine. It's a ravine within a ravine. That is Ravine Inception right there, or Ravineception, however you want to say it. Ravinception, that's even more clever. But let's continue with this game. This guy is way down deep, and I make a stone pickaxe, as you guys saw, and I am towering down. This guy doesn't even see me. I hit him a couple times, it lags, and Crafter Ethan dies. He didn't even have a kit. So I decide to go through. He had a couple of ingots to make my total ingot count at 7, and I am getting some more ore as well. I make another furnace. Make a chest play. I'm really paranoid because someone could jump down through the double ravine and kill me. Of course, they might miss and land through limbo, but that's just another joke that I am not going to explain. Anyway, we got some iron here, and I am doing well. I have an iron pickaxe, an iron bucket. Well, I guess that's the only kind of bucket you can have is an iron bucket. And now I am towering out of the double ravine, and the feast gets announced. Now, I don't have a lot of soup, but I have a decent amount anyway. And this guy here comes. I decided to try to put lava on him, but it backfires. I have myself in lava, and I'm trying to combo Telbin into the lava, but it just doesn't work, so I really just hurt myself with that little move there. I'm comboing him pretty well. He tries to run away through the swamp. I hit him a few more times, and I decide to chase him because I have a few more minutes, so the feast is going to start, and I am in the top four. As he tries to climb up a tree, I finish off Telbin, who was a warder. So lucky for me, I took out someone else, and there's two more people in this game, and I have a good amount of mushrooms in my inventory. The guy on my compass, his name is T-Sig, and I have him on my compass. He is moving around. I actually see him right there, but as I go to chase him, he decides to run. I think about time lording him for a while, but I decide, might as well not. Might as well go back to the feast. He doesn't have that much armor anyway. So I get back here. You'll see the feast is going to start in just 50 seconds, but he is circling around the feast, making his way back. So I want to be really careful. I see him over there. He has a fishing rod, folks, and he fishes me right there, and look what he's going to do. He's going to run towards the lava that I put down myself. Luckily, I jumped up and didn't land in it. He does have a diamond sword, but you'll see that I do have the armor advantage on him. Of course, he only has some gold armor that he probably got from a temple. Anyway, we're having an exchange here. I I hit him a few times, and of course, he looks to run, and he is a fisherman, but I don't have to worry about him for now, because I am able to get the entire feast. I get a diamond chestplate, diamond boost, a strength potion, I don't know if I said boost, I meant to say boots, and four ender pearls, which is always nice, 
And as I'm going through here, I am tracking now someone named Zunalor. He is in a tower that looks almost like a fisherman tower, which is scary. So I just flood the entire bottom with tons of water, because that's what you want to do. And then I start to tower. I have my bow with me as well. I have plenty of arrows. And I look up here and I fire. I hit him once, which forces him to the outside. He tells me to use Time Lord. I say, no, I'm going to use my bow. I try to shoot him as he falls. Of course, it doesn't work out to be that cool. But I do hit him twice with my sword and kill him. But look who we have now, the fisherman again. So this has been a pretty crazy ending to this game. I'm chasing this guy here. He looks to fish me into lava, but he misses again. These people are so annoying. I Time Lorded him there. As you can see, I tried to get him into a combo to hopefully kill him. But really, I just ended up getting slowness. He fishes me another time, and he misses again into lava. He just doesn't know how to abuse it, guys. And I still have slowness here, so I'm really just trying to use my bow to keep him away, uh, just so I can get my regular speed back, which I do get pretty soon. I switch back to all my soups, and I go in here to try to combo him. His last effort is to try to fish me again into lava, uh, which he then fails, so I get a good combo on him here. Uh, he tries to fish me a very last time. I am trying to hit him with my sword. Uh, he is trying to get me back into the lava, which is just so annoying, folks. But right there, I finish off the fisherman, and I win the game with Time Lord. It was a really crazy game, but it was a really fun kit. I definitely recommend it, especially if you want to take out the teams. And here is the stats page, 11 kills with Time Lord. And that is the end of this episode of the Hunger Games Kit Challenge. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. And I hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye.